So you're singing inegal eights and I'm playing under dotted eight sixteenths. Does that make sense? Yes. So we're basically doing the same thing, but he's notated it in two different ways. Sure. Casually. He's yeah. notated it casually. Exactly. <laughs> okay, yes. great. We were looking for a chamber opera of a small, intimate nature, but something that would be very appealing and colorful and attractive for the, for the audience, and realized that Handel had written his very first version of his quite famous opera, Asus and Galatea, in 1718 as a chamber work with a small group of instrumentalists and five solo singers who sang not only the arias and duets, but also the choruses. Um, that's significant because the version of Asus and Galatea that the public knows is the later version from the 1730s in which the chorus parts were sung by a large chorus and the string ensemble turns into a full orchestra, including violas and, and so on. Oh, the pleasure of the plains, the pleasure, the pleasure, for oh, the pleasure of the plains, happy hymns and happy swains. What we are trying to do in our, in our production is in fact trace the origin of this score and how it was uh, coming uh, uh, to life in the uh, uh, summer, during the summer, in the estate of the Duke. So we, in fact, do see Endel and, 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 and his librettist working on the piece. So we, we see have the, the making of Aces and Galatea, in a way. Lord Chandos and Lady Chandos are at home and he's wearing his dressing gown. Um, so they're relaxed at home. And then three courtiers, Handel, Gay, and another gentleman, sort of of the intelligentsia literary people come to visit and they are then going to perform this opera. And I think they're rehearsing the opera the day before the performance. So they're doing it in their regular clothes. I really think this intimate way of, of performing the piece, Handel's original vision of, of this work, gives a much more expressive quality to the, to the music. You can really understand the human nature of the characters he's, he's portraying. And then movement. You have all the time to do it slowly. The human emotions are the same. They were the same in the first century uh, than in 1718 than, than today. And we try to cover all this range of emotion in a very simple way. And that's what I think makes this production interesting and different from the other, that we transcend the convention and we try to bring the emotion which are in the music in a very simple and direct way. Behold, behold, the 